This is a closet tour video I filmed in 2017. Those are all of the pieces of clothing that I owned at that time. This is a video I filmed in April of this year and it was my first attempt at doing a capsule wardrobe and I failed so badly. So today, we're gonna try this again. So if you watched my recent video, it was uh, left alone for 24 hours, that vlog. In that vlog, I was having a real, a real two-day quarter-life crisis. I feel like this quarter-life crisis just continues on and on and on. But on those particular days, I had watched the documentary called Minimalism. And I think that I just felt so affected by that documentary because it really put into words how I've been feeling over the last year and a bit. The climate of YouTube and what we do as a, as a beauty YouTuber or a lifestyle YouTuber, however you want to describe me. I think that we've been really swimming in this world of material things and over-consuming and as I've mentioned in my my last couple of videos where I've talked about this, I've just been really trying to reflect on my life, what my goals are, what I'm doing, the content that I'm putting out into the world, and the kind of message that I've been sending. And then I watched that minimalism documentary and it just really threw me into this deep hole of sadness, honestly. <laughs> and I really wanted to revisit this whole idea of a capsule wardrobe because even though it is, it is material things that we are discussing, I think that in my life as a whole, I just really want to take a step back and, and think about what is important, what's important to me, how I want to portray myself, and you know, starting out with the pieces and things that I'm featuring in videos like clothing and makeup, just really downsizing and condensing those things and trying to bring lightness into my life in a new way and taking a step back from over consuming. And this is just something I really want to put some effort into in the new year. But why not start now? So I was taking a gander through those last couple of videos that I showed at the beginning. That was almost three years ago when I had first moved back to Vancouver after university from Calgary. I really didn't have a lot of pieces of clothing and even watching that video back in April, like of this year, I think that those two videos, they're such wildly different times in my life. Even that video from three years ago, I had basically just embarked on my journey of adulthood and and living alone. I had just moved out. It was my first place that was actually my own, my first apartment. I was newly single and I was just like in trying to embrace my my new adult life. But in terms of how my personal style has grown since then, it's, it's pretty crazy. Like I was watching that video and I'm like, girl, <laughs> I would never wear that. It's so crazy. It's, it's just crazy to see how my taste has changed so much. Even watching that video back in April, there was a few pieces that I was like, I just, yeah, I wouldn't wear that. I, I feel like I was just lost. And even though I still feel lost, I'm still going through this quarter life crisis. I, I feel like I can finally say this where I do think that I have found my personal style and, and kind of my goal when it comes to style. We're getting close. We're getting there. And just with all of these things being said, I just wanted to retry the capsule wardrobe thing. I really wanted to make an effort to challenge myself to embrace a smaller amount of clothing. Hell, it is winter. It is winter, people. I don't know why I've been putting this off for so long. I live in a sweatsuit for crap's sake. Since mine's 30, I ain't getting cute. So I figured winter, especially being Canadian when it's very, very cold, this would be a perfect time to retry the winter capsule wardrobe. There are many different variations, many different methods you can use when creating your own capsule wardrobe. And the idea that I kind of want to follow today as I'm building my winter capsule wardrobe is taking about 30 to 40 pieces in total. That's including your outerwear, your shoes, your clothing, accessories, what have you, and making a wardrobe from that and making them all interchangeable, being able to switch up the pieces, kind of following a, a color palette, a theme to your wardrobe so that you can wear it in a bunch of different variations ways. And the final point I want to make before we dive into the closet is I, I know I declutter a lot, but that's because I go through a lot of up and down phases. I go through a lot of like trendy style crisis phases, but especially after watching that minimalism documentary, I'm going to try and be very like the most strict I've ever been with myself when it comes to decluttering. So as I'm building my capsule wardrobe, my hope is that I will be able to part ways with most things that are not involved in that capsule wardrobe. And if you guys know, I do sell extra pieces in my closet on Depop. It's an app. I've been selling my clothing on Depop forever. It's a great way to clear out your closet and find pieces if you're looking for particular things to shop other people's closets. I will link all of my Depop info down below and hopefully after this clear out there will be a lot more pieces on my Depop. So this is the closet. There's a lot of crap in here I don't wear. All right. So I'm going to start by pulling everything out of my closet, putting it into categories and then trying to condense it from there. A holiday cleaning if you will.
So these are the piles that we ended up with. Here is the closet. This is the giant pile of my miscellaneous. This is all of the blouses. We've got a giant pile of pants here and a giant pile of sweaters and then t-shirts in there. I'm basically gonna go through each pile now, separate them between absolutely keeping, absolutely getting rid of, and the maybe pile need to retry on. I'm gonna go ahead and separate those now. So, so far I've put a few of my absolute yeses back in the closet. There's a few things I'm pulling out that I think are a bit more seasonal, like especially in my t-shirts pile. There's a few like bright, like I have this mesh shirt, this bright pink t-shirt, stuff like that, that I think would just be more appropriate in the summer. I most likely will not be grabbing for these, so I've set those aside, as well as like my very light linen cream blazer. These are kind of things that I would just most likely wear more in the summer. So I'm gonna put those aside to reevaluate later. And then if I decide on keeping them, like I know this is a yes, then I'm going to add them into my summer wardrobe drawer, but I am taking those out. I've got a solid pile of things that I am iffy about, just a few pieces that I really, really haven't worn. This is my current pile of things I need to reconsider, retry on that I'm unsure about, things I haven't really worn. And then when it comes to jeans, I just don't really know what to do. I put a few of my absolute yeses immediately into the closet and there's a few of these things that I think would just be more seasonally appropriate as well. Like my white jeans, for example. And then a few of these jeans I just haven't worn in such a long time. And I think I just need to retry them on and reevaluate and see if they still fit. There's some pants that still have the tags on them. I bought these like really fun contextured leather pants from Aritzia and I've never worn them. I haven't worn them yet. I've just been wearing the plain simple leather ones. So the pants, the pants is gonna be a hot minute. We gotta, we gotta evaluate our, our life here. I put three pairs in my absolute yes, a skinny jean and two of my ripped A Goldie ones, the blue and the black that I always wear. And the rest of them, I really haven't been wearing them at all since I found those ripped ones. So I'm just gonna put them all on, see how they fit, and uh, if I'm gonna decide to keep them. These ones, I'm like, these two pairs of my Reformation Dawson jeans are two of the pairs that I got tailored. And she actually, when she was cinching the waist in, she ended up creating this little bulge, this like weird buildup of fabric in the center of the butt, which I just don't know about anymore. I don't know. What do you guys think about this little fabric fold? Should I keep them or is this too weird? <laughs> Out of the two pairs of Dawson jeans, my non-ripped ones actually have less of the butt bulge than the other ones. So I think what I'll do is I will get rid of these ones and keep these ones because I do love how high-waisted these are and it's also a lighter wash that I that I don't currently have in my yes pile. Okay, so this is the discard pile for the jeans, but one, two, three, four. Four pairs are being passed on. We've kept six pairs. Out of 10, we got rid of 40%. I am happy, I'm happy with that number. There were a lot of pieces in my wardrobe that I had like duplicates of. In my life, if I like a style, I typically tend to buy more than one if I think that I'm gonna be wearing a lot and it'll be on high rotation with laundry and whatnot, but it's just not necessary. This can go to a better home. I think I featured it in some kind of fall thing. I love it so much. I, I love the shape and style of it, but because it is white, <laughs> I never wear it. I never wear it. I'm always like, I'll do my makeup and then I, I'll go to want to wear it. And I'm like, oh no, I'm going to absolutely drench this in bronzer. So even though I love it, there's so many pieces that I, that I love and that I feel like look so good. But if I'm not actually wearing them in practice, then they need to go to a better home. So now I'm just going to try on some of the tops that I've had in my wardrobe for so long. Like this is such a beautiful button down shirt from Frame. I love the sleeves on this one in particular, but I just, I just never wear it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just like more of a seasonal thing or what, or if I just haven't figured out how to wear it properly, but I just think it's the most beautiful top 
ever. Same with this one from Equipment. Oh my god, when I first bought this, I wore it so much. But in reality, it's been a year. It's been a year since I have even put this on my body, I think. It's been a very, very long time. And I'm just not wearing it. So even though I love it, I love the Equipment style. I think they have some of the best silhouettes when it comes to silk blouses. I'm just not wearing it. So I gotta be true to myself. I think for this one, I'm gonna put into the summer pile too, just because it is a linen blend shirt. I may get more wear of this in the summer season and then at that point if I don't then I can revisit that at that time. I was so excited about this Anin Bing blazer when I first bought it because I thought it was so cool. I still do think it's so cool. It's got such a great fit and it's so comfortable but I also just haven't worn it so I don't know if I should be keeping that. I think it's so dope. <laughs> if I'm not wearing it, why is it in my closet? This is another one that I'm really like heartbroken about. This is an acne blazer I actually bought over the summer when we were in Paris. It's so beautiful. The acne blazers have the best fit. Mm. Ah! It kind of even looks cool with this top. So these are the final piles that I've ended up with. This is the donate pile. This is the summer drawer pile, and this is the cell pile. Not a bad clear out, not a bad clear out indeed. And this is what we are left with in the closet. So a lot of the bulk has been taken out, especially up in the sweater category. A lot of denim and a lot of the pants have been cleared out, and I actually feel really happy about this. I think we've easily cleared out about half of this. So now that I've decluttered my wardrobe, which was most certainly the longest process of this. Now I wanna go through, use the list that I previously created for myself and attempt to make a capsule wardrobe. So basically what I'm gonna do is go through and try and condense these categories even more, not to get rid of the clothing, but to take away some of the duplicates and try and condense this into an actual usable capsule wardrobe. Like for example, these jeans, I love them, I want to keep them, but for the sake of the capsule wardrobe, I don't necessarily need to have them in my wardrobe for the next month, let's say. I can always come back and rediscover them later. So what I'm going to try and do is condense this. I ended with 63 items. In the wardrobe, the goal is to get between 30 and 40, and that's including shoes and coats. Let's see how we do. All right guys, so I took out the pieces that I wanna set aside for the next little while while I'm trying my capsule wardrobe experiment and this is what is left in the closet. I even went and grabbed my boots, which are filthy and I shouldn't have. And I also put the two pieces of outerwear that I'm going to include in this little capsule wardrobe moment. Now this is the final breakdown of what ended up being inside my capsule wardrobe. So after the closet declutter and after sorting through the actual pieces that I would require in my winter capsule wardrobe, this is what we are left with, you guys. And my hope is that I'm going to hide all of the remaining pieces in my closet away from myself. And I'm going to see how long I can ride out this winter capsule wardrobe for. And then at the end, I'm hoping that I'll be able to take an even deeper look within myself and at the remaining pieces of clothing and see if any of the items that I've taken out of the capsule wardrobe are items that I actually want to keep permanently in my wardrobe or if I didn't really miss them while they were gone. I'm really looking forward to styling the pieces in my wardrobe and putting together outfits that I might not have if I had just continued keeping all of the bulk in there and I'm excited to see what I'm going to come up with and hopefully this will condense my stress in the mornings and getting ready. And I'm going to try and stick to it as long as possible. I'll keep you posted with how I end up going with this winter capsule wardrobe. Little experiment that I wanted to try and maybe the next kind of fashion video I make will be me styling 
styling and putting together outfits with this capsule wardrobe and seeing how it all looks in my closet. So I really want to hear from you guys. Let me know all of your thoughts on the entire world of capsule wardrobes and minimalism. Have you watched the documentary? What are all your thoughts on it? And what are your thoughts on the changing fashion climate and in videos and all of that. I want to hear from you guys and let me know how you think I did in creating my winter capsule wardrobe. I am so excited to see how this is going to go. I will definitely keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and I will see you all tomorrow for another Landmas video. Bye!